this video, I'm putting this engine in this Raptor, and I'm building just about the most crazy go-kart rear suspension drivetrain setup ever conceived. But first, we gotta put some performance parts on this Predator. So let's get started. Okay, so for now, we're just gonna start by doing a stage one set of upgrades, that being a cold air intake, exhaust, and carb jet. As it stands right now, the red line is at 3600 RPMs with the governor still installed. And with the gear ratio that I have in place, the theoretical top speed should be about 29. I should probably just stop talking and get on with it. exhaust that's a little unique um, the plan is to cut the muffler off of its little header pipe right here at this joint and reuse this little flange and piece of pipe to stick straight up okay since we know the exhaust is going to stick straight up in the air and can't get in anything's way let's go ahead and move on put the torque converter on and then get started on that axle mock-up of the axle. Of course it's missing a lot of things, but I'll, I'll just try to explain it. So we've got this center support bearing right here, and we've got a bearing on each wheel uh, at the back of each of the hubs, and we have twin mechanical brake discs and a giant sprocket here, uh, and the engine is going to be mounted to the axle at the height of that this is representing here. And to enable such an insane mounting scheme, uh, we're going to have uh, bars across here, somehow over this and mounting to the middle bearing and to the outer bearing. And a plate on top of all that that the engine is sitting on to swap the order in order to fit the caliper for this brake disc. So we got one side of the axle support structure welded up and mounted. Now it's time to mount the engine temporarily and do up the other side. Thank you. 
Let's see if we can bend an eighth inch thick bar that's an inch wide by hand. <clears throat> Kinda. It's not gonna be very uniform. That came out surprisingly good for bending it by hand. Before we finish welding up this side and clean up all the ugliness, we're gonna need to make some mounts for the brake calipers to go right here and mount somewhere on this structure. And then we'll need to pull it apart and put it up on the table and add some reinforcements. Okay, almost all the welding's probably been maybe done by now, and we can put it all back together and then mock it up in the truck with the engine on it in order to measure for the suspension. Okay, here is the ideal plan for the suspension. Um, I think I want to do a four link suspension setup using four separate links, as you might expect, with these tie rod ends or heim joints or whatever you want to call them, um, to allow for the flex that I need. And then on the edges, I want to use this coil over from the back of a motorcycle. Uh, one on each side, something like that down there somewhere. The big plastic body is definitely in the way of a comfortable build, so let's start by cutting the tailgate out to make room for the cold air intake, and then we'll remove it. Pull it all apart again and add some tabs and brackets and trim up the rear axle bits that don't need to be there. left to do is put everything back together again, we'll put some keys in the axle assembly, 
and we'll build some links for the rear suspension. Then we can give it a quick test. Just need to make sure the alignment's right. Now normally one of these on the end of the coilover would be pinched between two different brackets. But in order to make them fit in our very tight space, I'm going to have to slit them down the middle in order to slip one bracket in between the two pieces of it. Seems like it worked. Pretty darn well. Okay, it's ready. Here we have the first ever four link suspension engine mounted to the axle Power Wheels go kart ever. Motorcycle coilovers, Predator 212, and two mechanical disc brakes included. Now I am missing a few spacers in the link joints here, and I will need to adjust some more lengths of the adjustments on the hind joints, and I will need to stiffen up the spring rate, but other than that, you probably just want to see it work. So, Here's what happens. I'm gonna have lots of travel. There you have it.